So my name is Tavi Sari and I'm, I'm here with uh, Music Rag interviewing a couple of guys from the super group at the Not Too Old to Dance. Getting some photos here. Not uh, me, not so me. I'm here with Mark Gable. I'm here with Mick O'Shea. First question guys. Uh, what do you think of people who say you're too old to dance? Um, oh, I think I think undoubtedly they're they're right. I don't think it's a good thing that old people dance. Old people shouldn't do anything really. They should stay at home and smoke cigars and things, you know, and lament Rolf Harris. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Wrinkles moving to the music is fantastic. Get out of here, you're too old to dance. <laughs> I'm not. Get out of here. Please, please, please. I am not. Sorry, I sprung into the wrong room. But what a, <laughs> what kind of conversation is going on here? Okay, this, just so we know, this is Richard Fuller, the guy the man that started is the man that started all of the event. Mate, right, just actually, enjoying myself and thank you I very much for like coming him. back this year. That's a pleasure. Congratulated him for getting thrown out. All right, next question. Are musicians like a fine wine only to get better with age? Mm. Well, when I used to drink, yes. there would be, you know, days on end when I would drink, and then I would leave the bottle of wine sitting there, red wine. And it never got better. For a, after a couple of days, right, and I'd go to it and I'd think, i give it a sip. And it always tasted like crap to me. Are you still listening to this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so. He's found more important. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, John Swart. Hi guys. I think, I think some musicians get better with age and I think some musicians don't get better with age. I think that, you know, um, for instance, I missed out on seeing Nirvana uh, when they came out and unfortunately Kurt Cobain is dead. I missed out on seeing the Beatles when they came out. Now, um, there are some bands that I really would like to see as they matured. I think that, you know, for instance, Mark Knopfler is, is great. John's better as he's older. I think he's a better singer now than what he was when he was young. And I think the same is for his brother. Um, Russell Morris. Russell Morris has just had a, a, a top ten record. Uh, Rod Stewart has had, had number one all around the world. Uh, David Bowie, number one all around the world. Uh, Black Sabbath, number one all around the world. So I think that it's coming back that older people are better than younger people. And there's a movement amongst we older people where we <laughs> would like to right. see younger people um, put in a pen and probably, you know, left to starve to death. The young kids are disposable these days, they're brought up in these shows, they've made promises, they get into there, the record company owns them for five years, the, the young kids get five percent and they're burnt out yeah. in about yeah, six weeks done. and they're disposable musicians. We, we have been around for that long. long. I mean as, as friends, long as friends we would, one would be sick and the other one would turn up and do the gig for them, you know? Yes. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for this man. He he puts he put he put so much love and and respect into me about what was happening in my body. My, I've got psoriasis of the liver, and it'll never be the same. But I wouldn't be here if he hadn't have done what he did. Like so, it was an element of truth. And understand the depth of friendship that exists amongst guys like Kevin and that you know and Jimmy and. Will be, no. Because we know that we are a valuable commodity of people who have been around and we've done so much crap and spent so much money and wasted. Wasted uh, so much. Money. Wasted. I was getting a hundred thousand dollars a year just to drink product off a, a brewing company. That's not including live gigs and record sales and all of that sort of stuff. That's just to do that. And let me tell you, I never paid any of it. It just all went up my nose, and I drank it. And then you get somebody coming along and saying, John, you could actually own this, and you go, oh. So think about it. Youth is a beautiful thing. Old age is like wisdom. And you know, sure, I'd like to look beautiful again, but the thing is that I would hate to go through, I'd hate to be 30 again. Because the stuff that you went through when you were 30, would you like to go sure. through that again? I had a, a 35 Bertram parked there, and I had a new Jag, and a Mercedes and an LTD and an RX7. 
and I couldn't drive them because I was so out of it. I had somebody else doing it. I had somebody else picking me up, dropping me off, doing all this shit. All of that stuff was almost wasted on me, you know? And the one person who's been the great person was my wife because she just, she just stunk it. Stuck, stuck in with it. you? Stuck with me, you know? Thick. And let me tell you, it wasn't because I was a good guy. <laughs> it wasn't because I'm particularly handsome. <laughs> and it wasn't because I had a lot of money because I just blew the lot, you know? But she's one of those women who, she loves for life. And she's only human. There's the old saying goes, wouldn't be dead for queens. We, we do what we do because this you is... You love it. We love it. And, you know, we were at the point now where we were doing that set before and the most important people was not who was doing the set, although Mark did say he's got the biggest selling single in the entire universe with Run to Paradise. Um, but what, what was going on was we wanted that audience to be able to do, and we wanted to do bad boy for love because it's got nothing to do with the promoters with any with the audience and anything else we wanted them to enjoy what they were meant to enjoy you know